Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? So I'm going to be doing a Divine Masculine reading for August the 15th until the 22nd. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you again for your love and support. You guys rock. Okay, so I'm going to be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. Um, I think I'm going to do a Celtic wing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cards first and then I'll go through the positions, okay? Make sure these are on camera. Yep. And the bottom of the deck. All right. So I'm also going to be using my cards. I don't want to give them too big of a shuffle. Um, I am, well, I, I finished working on them, so they are kind of a little sticky right now. All right, so, yeah, I'm actually going to put these side down so that you can actually see the cards. The clarifiers, I mean. All right, let's begin. So, beginning with your present position, heel, 17. So this is a star card. Um, so generally this means wish granted, you wished upon a star and your dreams are manifesting. Um, this also represents um, coming out of a very difficult period of time and so you're in this healing space right now. Um, you're healing your soul and Spirit is saying that the worst is over now. Okay, it is time to relax and you know it offers hope for the future. So, Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So, past position, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So, this is waiting for the harvest, waiting for something to return to you. Um, and it's in the past position. So, I'm feeling the wait is over, and there's a movement towards love, towards... Um, union, but you're healing your heart right now. Um, the Knight of Cups is, um, you know, courting, offering your love. Um, it's a longing to be in a connection. So for the masculine, there's a sense of the weight being over that you've um, done a great deal of healing and now you want to move forward. Uh, the Three of Cups, future position. So this is celebrating love. Uh, this is two people coming together and feeling love and having that feeling bubbling up inside of you. So um, love is on the masculine's mind. Foundation. The Six of Swords. Healing begins. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Heal. Healing begins. So um, again, you've been on this journey of healing for some time now. So the Six of Swords um, is a decision to move away from negative energy, um, you know, a negative situation. So you, you did that, you moved away. And you can see how your heart space is activated. You can see this green glow, which ref is reflective of you, uh, this feminine energy up here. Um, her heart is also activated, so it's almost like, you know, the masculine is facing the feminine on some levels, um, you know, it's almost like the feminine was helping the masculine to heal, perhaps. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, and Judgment, so Ten of Swords. So this is um, a dark night of the soul and some cutting communication. Um, you know, there's words that were spoken that were really hurtful um, and may have sent you into the state of, you know, feeling like you've been stabbed in the back and left for dead. Um, and it could, you know, involve an air sign or just a feminine who was very cutting um, in her words and her manner. Um, which ultimately led to this epiphany, this awakening and rebirth with the Judgment card. So let's recap that. 
um, the Six of Swords is moving on, making a decision to move away from a negative situation. The Ten of Swords in the past is an ending to that. So you've cut something out of your life. You've ended a negative period. And like I said, it may have involved an air sign, um, feminine, because um, this is, you know, a masculine reading. Or um, it just, you know, somebody who's just really cut off emotionally. Um, and then, like I said, the judgment card, future position, this is a grand awakening. Realizing your entire life is just a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So it's a realization, epiphany, and rebirth. And so you are, like I said, feeling hopeful in the present moment. And you are, you know, opening your heart chakra and, like I said, a sense of moving forward. So past position is nurture. Sorry, I got paint on my hands. Oh, very nice. This is a divine feminine, the Empress. Um, so nurture you. It's kind of confirming this idea of the feminine possibly helping you to open up. And um, you know, this Empress is the goddess of love, ruled by Venus. Um, it's also Earth energy, so she is Mother Earth. But it is manifestation and love, gentle energy from the feminine. Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands, and Two of Pentacles. So there was some deep love that was shared between you and this, and this divine energy, this feminine. Uh, the Ten of Cups is, again, another completion. There's a sense that this very dark period ended and at the very same time, it opened this door to love with this connection. So something was put in end to open this connection up. And it's, again, in the present moment, there's a sense of wanting to move towards that. Um, so the Ten of Cups is peace, harmony. It is this massive love and feeling in the family as well as in romantic relationships. But, you know, it's that time in your life where you just feel like everything is kind of coming together, uh, working out for you. Um, the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. Um, it also re represents spiritual strength. So you've been through many battles. This, you know, journey was not easy for you. And you have battle wounds and scars that are healing still. Um, but ultimately you have this core strength within you to keep going to you know give it with that one final push the future position is the two pentacles which represents balance um, it also represents being pulled in two different directions by opposing forces or you know it also means that your ideas you know those seeds that were planted um, are taking root and changing your environment and so you can feel a little unsteady so there is this eye of the storm kind of feeling um, it's like you have so much passion and desire and love for this feminine um, that you are you know you feel this power as a result of this connection So you're bringing in change. So your hope, this is uh, what you hope for and likely to get. Wow, the Ace of Wands, new vitality. So this is the Kundalini Awakening. It's a spark, inspiration. Um, but since this is something you hope for, this is saying to me that you want, you know, to come into alignment with your feminine, you know, feel that Ten of Cups again, um, you know, live your spiritual purpose or well let's pull up the confirmation cards the hangman five of wands and the ace of swords so hangman past position this is surrendering letting go of control and seeing things from a different perspective um, so it's a, a sacrifice as well. You made a, sa a sacrifice. You, you let go of some negative energy. And as a result, 
your perspective changed. Okay, so that's what that is reflecting. Um, a deep let go. The Five of Wands represents challenges and obstacles, and they're minor challenges. There's just, you know, somebody's disagreeing with you, somebody's standing in your way. Um, there's also a sense of, you know, you're not feeling good enough, so you're trying to figure out a way to make your light shine brighter. Um, the Ace of Swords represents a decision, so you've got two Aces here, which represent new beginnings. Okay, so you switched your perspective. You saw things in a different light, from a more enlightened um, perspective. And you know what you want. You, you, you want this new beginning, uh, you know, starting from zero. You want to move forward with this passionate idea, but there are things standing in your way. But ultimately, you know, with the Ace of Swords, that represents victory, success triumph um, so it also represents cutting away barriers um, making decisions being unwavering knowing your truth you know she's naked she's exposed and vulnerable so you hope for this new beginning you hope for and this could also represent communication you hope that this change in perspective will manifest will um, you know will happen for you. Actually, I'm cut way up there. Hopefully you can see those. It's a little too far away. Okay, um, so the crossroads position. Flow, the wheel of fortune. So there is um, a shift happening and you can definitely see coming from a darkened state into this beautiful loving healing state um, nurture heal healing begins so you've been doing a lot of work on your heart and that shift in perspective also happened okay so you are going with the flow this is a destiny card um, this is things happening for your greater good, even though it may not seem that way, it is. So this represents good luck and good fortune coming towards you. It also is a completion of a cycle from five to ten years, um, but ultimately it's a karma card. So you know, here's wish granted, right? So again, it's the sense of this energy, this beautiful energy raining down on you. Five of Cups. Two of Wands and Justice. So Five of Cups past position is mourning and loss. Okay, whatever this was that you released and put behind you um, caused a lot of pain. This is mourning, heartbreak, um, and you know it's a broken heart and then feeling protective of your heart. Um, so it's in the past. So you walk through that door. You. All that, although that energy is still in your surroundings, you are releasing it. The Two of Wands represents an expansion, um, seeing things from a higher perspective. Again, a sense of, you know, this shift um, occurred in your perspective, in your mind. There, there was this an awakening, epiphany. Um, so the Two of Wands is making a decision in the past to go on this spiritual uh, path. Okay, so the, that's why things are going to be changing in your near future, the crossroads. Um, the shift is happening for your, your good, your greater good. Okay, so um, there's a sense of you walking through this door. But this card also represents a little bit of waiting. However, I'm not really feeling that strongly. I feel it as karmic energy coming back towards you because you're able to release um, something from the past, it's going to work out in your, your good. Not only because of this card and this card, but also because of justice in the future. Um, justice is another karmic card. Um, it's cause and effect. What you put out, you get back. You send out negative energy into the universe, it'll come back to you. Um, yeah, so justice will be served. Whatever that caused you this heartbreak, 
to cause you to walk through that door and expand yourself ultimately shifted your reality and has put you on the road towards your destiny and towards you know a better life um, okay so what are you resisting sacral chakra so this is a lower vibration the first three uh, chakras the base the sacral and the solar plexus are kind of they point to you know where your fears are kind of lingering and stored if you don't feel safe with the base chakra then you know your foundation is rocky and I don't know if you guys know of um, Maslow's hierarchy of need, needs but this is the the chakras definitely reflect that energy you need to feel safe before you can feel or not feel it but express emotion and be happy uh, then once you are able to do that then you can find your power and strength maybe go out into the world and change things or do what you know change your career or go after whatever a goal out there then the heart chakra really opens you up this is where um, real spir spirituality starts to come from is the heart that's the motor that drives the consciousness so you know the next one to open is the throat then the third eye and the crown so the um, you're resisting allowing emotions to control you um, you are resisting people manipulating you on some level six of wands the ace of wands again and the tower six of wands past position this is success victory you were a rock star or you felt like you were a rock star uh, people are cheering you on they're excited for you they see you as an example so something really opened you up and, and sparked you um, you know and you you held on to that wand that idea and you're trying to manifest it into your reality and spirit is saying yes that things are shifting and coming towards you um, so this is the ace of wands again same card okay so it's the go like go time um, you know that spark kundalini awakening brand new beginning starting from zero you know it's the right choice you know it's the right path however or you know what I'm I'm choosing to see this as a positive thing that you are resisting being manipulated by your emotions um, because ultimately keeping this positive frame of mind will attract that energy towards you now this is a tower and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad card I always see it as something really good happening very suddenly a very sudden change and it could be an epiphany um, that tears down the false structures in your reality and so that a new foundation can be built upon it so something is going to change very suddenly in the future and um, because you desire this to happen and it is likely to happen you are you're it's like you're in the flow you're going with the flow you know it's you are sending this healing energy out into the universe and that's what's going to come back to you okay so um, through this tower be the observer be the consciousness behind the tower don't involve yourself emotionally with it allow it to fall okay so um, your internal environment balance nice so you you know this is the temperance card this is the ultimate union card for twin flames so you feel harmonious and you know both sides of you are within balance you know within both of us or all of us we have the masculine and feminine energy um, you know 
the masculine is more logical, um, less emotional, and the reverse is true for the feminine. So, um, you know, for most of mankind's existence, the masculine has been the, you know, ruling energy, and so there's been an imbalance. Um, so now, you know, as a collective, we are coming into harmony. So it starts um, with the masculine, really, you know, feeling that heart space and rising his consciousness. The feminine is helping with that, but it is an equal, you know, both sides have to put in an equal amount of work. Um, to come into harmony. So we both have to go through the fire. We both have to purge. We both, you know, go through these experiences that awaken us. So it is, it's happening on a parallel plane. Um, you know, our timelines might be a little different, but not really. We are twins, so we pretty much experience the same shit. Um, so yeah, this is beautiful. I see the masculine energy really being in balance. That's amazing. Okay. Devil, very nice. The high priestess. And temperance again. So the past position is devil card. This is a chain, an addiction, codependent relationship self-limiting beliefs. So that's that ten of swords down there that you cut away. You let it go. You moved on. Um, the high priestess could represent the feminine in the 5D, you know, um, offering support um, during this difficult period. Or it could mean that you are going within. You are listening to your intuition. You're listening to your higher self, you know, um, guide you. And so this could mean that the masculine is really tapping into their psychic intuitive abil abilities. And they're really looking back at the past and seeing how chained they were, you know, how ugly this mess was. And so um, that's a need for the healing. It's like this reflection um, of the past. So the future is a temperance card. And again, there's this sense of balance, um, you know, the, the souls, the twins winding back together, becoming one. So um, it also represents, you know, um, patience and being in the now. So I see this negative energy kind of clinging to you, the masculine, but you are releasing it and you're moving to this incredible sense of unity. <clears throat> Sorry. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So, um, this is the external environment. Solitude, seek, the hermit. Uh, so, someone in your environment most likely the feminine is in a hermit state. I know I have been um, detaching um, for my own healing, you know, um, stilling my mind, doing the things that I love and enjoy, like working on my cards. Um, it is through art and creativity that I can really get connected with myself, um, you know. So, yeah, I definitely relate to that energy of hermit being at peace. The chariot, three of swords, and the ace of cups. So past posi position is the chariot. So this is a movement forward. Um, this is doing what you love, overcoming obstacles, challenges, but really taking control of your life and, and moving forward. Um, so, you know, again, that reflects this energy of detachment, um, not being chained to anything, not allowing anything to stand in your way and do the things that make you happy, like being creative. The Three of Swords, that's unusual to see. I might have to pull a card for that, but the Three of Swords represents a broken heart. 
and it's in the present moment. So a lot of the feminines out there might be healing their heart, um, might be, you know, doing this detachment because, you know, a, you know there's a sense of maybe the masculine has hurt the feminine on some level. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to pull an old show for that. The Ace of Cups is in the future. So this is a, a healed heart. Okay, this card only shows up when you've let go of the past, when you've moved on, when you've um, forgiven yourself, forgiven others, and you're truly open to receive love into your life. So the feminine, although maybe wounded on some level, has retreated, has detached in order to heal herself and allow love into her life. So let me just pull an answer. Oops. Spirit, what do you mean by the Three of Swords in the masculine's external environment? Yeah, and I'm, I'm feeling as a collective, the feminine is definitely detaching, whether it is because they're just kind of giving up on the whole journey, or they just don't feel that need or attachment to the masculine anymore. Um, yeah, okay, so Three of Swords, existence. So that would be the magician, normally. Oh, hold on one moment. Sorry about that. Okay, so existence. This naked figure sits on a lotus leaf of perfection, gazing at the beauty of the night sky. She knows that home is not a physical place in the outside world, but an inner quality of relaxation and acceptance. The stars, the rocks, the trees, the flowers, the fish, the birds, all are our brothers and sisters in this dance of life. We human beings tend to forget this as we pursue our own private agendas and believe we must fight to get what we need. But ultimately, our sense of separateness is just an illusion manufactured by the narrow preoccupations uh, of the mind. Now is the time to look at whether you are allowing yourself to receive the extraordinary gift of feeling at home wherever you are. If you are, be sure to take the time to savor it so it can deepen and remain with you. If, on the other hand, you've been feeling like the world is out to get you, it's time to take a break. Go outside tonight and look at the stars. So that's what this is. It's you taking a break and going outside and looking at the stars, appreciating your place in this existence, in the world. You know, um, being at one with nature. You know, these cards are basically the same kind of image here. So that's beautiful. And you are not engaging in matters of the heart. Do you know what I mean? It's like you are, you're not needing, you're not desiring. It's a disconnect to find oneself and to just, you know, it's like a um, awakening, a conscious choice. Okay, so um, the outcome for these three cards, confront fears. So this is the moon card, and it represents facing your shadow aspect, your fears, confronting those fears, and walking through that darkness, that veil. Wheel of Fortune again, the Four of Swords and the king of pentacles so past position wheel of fortune exact same card so destiny has been knocking on your door this change has been trying to come into your life or it has come into your life and has already stirred things up and i definitely see that with the ten of swords and the ten of cups there's that sense of completion with the ten of wheel of fortune so shit has been stirred up, okay, and it's stirred up a lot of fears, um, a lot of anxieties, a lot of, you know, there's this masculine who's looking at himself, and the, and the shadow is so much more smaller than he is, you know, there's this um, sense of not being strong enough, 
So, yeah. Allow that change to occur in your life. So the present moment card is the Four of Swords. Um, so this is rest, retreat. It is stilling the mind um, and healing the heart. So again, the same energy of healing is in your present moment. Um, however, the outcome will be ultimately you diving deep beneath the surface and really looking at your fears seeing where those fears are stemming from what are what's the reason what what are you holding on to what are you refusing to let go you know because that devil is still kind of peeking around the corner um, there's still pain that you are holding on to so you haven't fully released it which is why you're still healing okay so the king of Pent pentacles is in the future position this represents um, either an earth sign or someone who is grounded, who feels successful, who feels abundant, who feels this confidence and strength. Um, they, they don't put a lot of importance on the 3D reality, but they do feel that they have abundance in their life. So either this represents the masculine making a decision or coming to realization or moving through that veil of fear and ultimately being victorious. He, this represents harvest, success. Um, okay, so the summary outcome. Two of Pentacles, find balance. Okay, so this card was showing up in the past future position, so it is, you know, this change is happening. There's this wind, this wheel of change, um, stirring shit up in your environment. And so, again, you're trying to find balance. You are achieving that balance. But as long as that devil is still there, you will continue to be pulled back in to a negative space. So let go of whatever it is. All right, so find balance. The Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Wands and the Solar Plexus Chakra. So, whoa. So, the Queen of Pentacles, um, you have the King of Pentacles in the future position. So, there's something about the 3D that has been playing on your mind. So, this could be you connecting with the Divine Feminine in the 3D, coming together united in the 3D, which is the reason why this Two of Pentacles is changing your reality. You desire it, however, you feel that there is obstacles standing in your way, but really just release those fears, let it happen. Um, the Three of Wands means that you're on the right path, that, that there is success, you know. Uh, the Two of Wands, you have... Um, yeah, right there uh, in your crossroads position present. So you've already walked through that door in the past. You've already made a decision, which, like I said, is turning that wheel, which is changing your environment. So you're on the right path. You're getting a thumbs up. Don't fear the change. Be the wind, or sorry, uh, bend, be resilient, bend with the, with the wind. The solar plexus chakra future position. So again, that's a lower vibration. Um, one higher than the, the sacral. So again, this is strength, power, to really commit to the wheel, to really commit to this change. Um, so it again, it's it's a sense of strength and finding balance is big with the masculine this week for sure. Okay, so um, final outcome is the Eight of Pentacles, dedicated effort. So this is beautiful. This is. Um, a harvest kind of energy. This is working. It's positive movement forward. It's, it's building resources and abundance and feeling like you are about to arrive, but there's still a little bit more work, but it is positive movement forward in the material world. Um, this, you know, could also mean a return to the ordinary life, perhaps. Wow, 1111. A Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. 
So past position, 1111 card, confirmation that you've met your twin flame. And of course you know it. You know you did. There's no denying it. You see how different she is, how it raises your consciousness, and that you realize that there is a better life for you. Um, and so, you know, it's hard to deny that connection. That's what's causing your reality to change. The Knight of Wands is a movement forward, and it is a fiery, passionate energy. There's no stopping this energy. So you're taking that wand, and you're going forward. Um, you feel like you're ready enough to move forward with this connection. Uh, so this could also represent fire sign as well. And you're moving towards this foundation. The three of pentacles here at the, as a summary, there's a two, which means that seed is growing. It's taken root and it's transforming. It's starting to you know, come out of the soil and into the light. So there's a foundation that has already been laid. This connection is firmly grounded in reality and you're moving forward to, you know, really make it manifest. You know, you, um, it's happening for some masculines. It's like whatever you worked hard towards, um, it is manifesting and it's time to move forward. Okay, so the energy for the overall reading is manifest. Very nice. The master manifestor, ma the magician. You're realizing how powerful you are. You're taking those sparks of inspiration, those creative ideas, that healing energy, you know, the, the grounded work, the epiphanies, all of that. Um, and you're using it to transform your environment, your reality. You're... Um, you're making a new reality, one that is in line with who you are. You, you're no longer going to be manipulated by these negative forces in your life anymore. That's it. You're putting the past behind you, and there's nothing but beautiful energy and new beginnings in your future. All right? There's ones all over the place. All right? So you're moving forward with this twin flame connection is what I feel for sure. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids, and this will be a message from the universe, final message. Um, an alien emerges. Interesting. I think that's kind of what I was saying with uh, this devil energy here. It's like this negative entity keeps peeking up, right? And that, and that could just be the ego, you know, whispering nasty thoughts in your mind that you're not good enough, that there's too much work to do, that this is never going to work out, that, you know, she doesn't think about me or love me as much as I love her or... You know, that things just aren't going to work out. So, release that, those thoughts. An alien emerges. What once was foreign at present is dear. What used to be obscure is transparently clear. What once felt distant, distant grew to be near. What I now love began with fear. A slim mermaid emerges from a murky lake and inquisitively, with an inquisitive look upon her face. Is she creepy and threatening or just mysterious and curious? The meaning, do not fear the foreign or alien. A foreign, exotic, or unusual element is entering your life. Do not allow yourself to be intimidated, scared, or avoidant. This foreign element may literally be a person from another country or culture an opportunity overseas, or simply a situation that feels alien to you at first. Use the opportunity to expand your horizons, embrace the uncommon, and experiment with new flavors, sounds, and ideas. Consider challenging yourself with learning a new language or investigating the cultural tradi traditions of another nation. Although it may feel intimidating at first, the foreign element in your life will ultimately be very re rewarding and enriching. It may result in a new passion or you may even find yourself 
uh, your life headed in a very different direction, but very exciting direction. So, yeah, it's like this movement forward towards what you've always wanted, what you've always desired, and you will make that decision ultimately for a lot of, you know, of the masculine. Um, and things will work out for you. Do you know what I mean? It's just taking that plunge forward. It's just taking that leap of faith um, and pursuing love. So, you know, maybe you are questioning if this connection is for real because the feminine might be detaching a bit and so you might not feel her as much as you used to but that's again it's um, she's she doesn't feel the need to reach out anymore she doesn't she's not reaching out because of pain or a sense of disconnect um, you know what I mean? It's like she's kind of surrendered to the, the fact that everything is going to work out um, no matter what. And it does. Love comes towards her. Uh, so relax into the change. Uh, realize how powerful you are and that you already you sent the, this intention out into the universe to change your environment. And it is changing. So don't fear it. Embrace that change. Um, it might feel a little uncomfortable at first, you know, but ultimately it is there because this is what you've always desired. This is what you wanted. Okay? So please leave a comment. Um, let me know if this resonates with you. I, I appreciate so much when a masculine um, does share his, his thoughts with the feminine aspects or even with other masculines do you know what I mean there's a sense of, a, of empowerment um, that we are helping each other um, so yeah it, it is a loving open space so again I welcome your comments I read them all um, I did notice however in the last twin flame reading that there was 10 dislikes now normally I don't um, associate the dislikes with me that is uh, an outward projection of whoever it is that viewed the video. Um, so, you know, something in my video may have triggered that person so that they are, you know, expressing their own negative energy, right? They're reflecting it out into the world. So I don't really associate with negative uh, energy like that. So I just kind of wanted to, to show that I use a like and dislike as levels of awareness, right? So if you like my video, um, you are, you f you're feeling gratitude in your heart, you're feeling love, and you're feeling appreciation. And so I really love that energy and I take it in and I, I appreciate it as well. And I send that vibration back into the world. Um, it's just this last Twin Flame video, you know, it was kind of unusual that there was 10 dislikes. I've never seen something like that. So there is a negative vibration um, that, like I said, I don't associate with, but should be released. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't like negative comments as well. So let's try to keep the vibration high and positive. Um, and yeah, so that would be releasing that devil, that ego, um, you know, those fears. Um, and to, yeah. Okay, anyway, I love you guys, and peace.